Love a very happy, I don't know what day of the week it is, but the weather feels good. It is a nice, nice evening, is it not? It's, it's beautiful. Mm. Now, I know you're worried about this. You've talked to me many times about this, about when I say sponsored. I, you think that, that that's going to bother people. I don't want to be the infomercial. No, it's not. It's not an infomercial. I'm not. I am not telling anyone to buy anything that we talk about. But if they're looking for something good, we have found this. It is John, Paul, and Jay from Northeast Alabama. It is the Duck Blind Bistro. Is it not? It is. And duck season is many, many days away. But we have recently been doing our due diligence of trying to, what I'm calling R&D, well, right? Jeff is calling R&D, I call it calorie intake. Well, definitely calories, 100%. We've been, we have. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh my goodness, you should have seen the pizza we just ate. <laughs> get on Instagram and you can check it out. Uh, yeah, we gotta get this under control and we are going to soon, yes. right? Yep. So probably, yeah, I was gonna say July 1st, but Maybe we'll push it off to after July 4th. That way we can still enjoy Because we've been doing a lot of grilling. And our, I'm going to get back on topic. R&D with the Duck Blind Bistro. It is the ultimate outdoor oven. There's also a companion grill that goes with it too, which we have. We cook burgers on it. I messed up on the burgers because I did not pick the fat percentage correctly. It was 96 was, mm. We tried to do the fat-free meats, and like that was wrong. I should have did like, you know, not 80, 86, I, 85. Yeah. 85% ground I should have did. I think we would have done much better on uh, the companion grill. Call it the companion grill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, charcoal grill. I don't know if I have to sneeze. I guess you're just going to let it roll off. <laughs> no? Maybe. <laughs> All right. So uh, John Paul and Jay have been duck hunting since 1999, and they were searching for – everybody can do – Eggs, bacon, scrapple. We've been talking about <laughs> scrapple recently. Basically, all your typical breakfast foods, right? Heck, you can even do soup. Yep, I do soups. We can do. You can do soup, seafood soups, chilies. The one thing that. Oh my goodness, she let it go. Love you. All right. Are you all right? Uh huh. That that almost sound intentional. You all right? Yes. All right. Take a drink. No. I, well, maybe. Mm. Salute. Um, so back to my topic is you can do lots and lots of protein. How about this? Lots of proteins. What they thought was missing, which I got to agree with them because I've never seen anything quite like this that is portable and you can truly use it any place that you have a heat source, right? Mm -hmm. um, but bas basically what's, what was missing for them is biscuits, sweet rolls, anything doughy, calzones. We want to do a pizza in it. Although yes. we, well, we had a pizza. No, we got to try. I yeah, really we want do. to try. 100%. Uh, we even tried doing, in our R&D, doing like, what would you call them? Stuffed biscuits, mm. right? Yep. Took some biscuits, so rolled them out flat. We already, we already had our... Meat, meat, egg, and cheese. Yeah, we're, we already had that going on. Yeah. Uh, we put... Uh, some jalapenos in there. Yep, jalapenos. jalapenos. And we even put a little bit of Smitty's ghost pepper. I, I'm, mm, really I'm going to go off on a tangent. Smitty's does not sponsor the Pitfalls podcast, mm. brought to you by Molly's Place Sporting Goods. But we really do like their, their product. And mm -hmm. I, I this morning, we did the hot sausage on the pellet grill. Mm. I broke out a little bit of, like, it's almost my hot sauce. Yeah, yeah, like just but the barbecue sauce. Yeah, it's just got, yeah, it's got a little... Well, my hot sauce, but it just has a little bit, just a little a taste of, it is barbecue sauce. Sweet. Yeah, so you still have a little bit of that in there. So, yeah. anyway, I digress. Did I say that word? You're right. I think so. Okay. It is the Duck Blind Bistro. And since I, I the past couple of times, especially when you're walking in the morning, I have taken the reins. I was like, I'm, I'm actually going to use it because you've been more, um, you've been using it more than I have. But... What do you do? You, you, you spray the inside of it a little bit? Super easy. Yep. It is two pieces of aluminum. If, if you're watching the video, you can see this. That, Get on YouTube and check this out if you are not. Good. I'm sorry. I didn't that, interrupt you. It actually is uh, super simple. Just you know, The hinge just kind of locks together. But just spray it with a little bit of um, uh, cooking oil, um, which is what they recommend on either side. We get the... Um, 
biscuits, the brand name biscuits. We get the Pillsbury. Pillsbury. Yeah. But um, yeah, we get we've tried the flaky, we've tried the regular. Biscuits. They both work. They both work. Yep. Just kind of load them up um, evenly. Uh, we do, you know. Eight of them in there. Yep, eight yeah. fit nicely, and um, yeah, we just kind of put it on. We have a nice uh, gas range. Finally. Yep. So we put it on like a, a medium low heat, and it's actually just you know probably four minutes the first side, three minutes the second side. Um, this is a very I'm holding up so everyone yes. can see. If you're not watching this on YouTube, get on YouTube. But here is a leather handle that is a very important piece of the it product. Absolutely is of the puzzle. Excuse me. Go ahead. And. Um, yeah, just, you know, turn the heat off, let them sit for a few minutes, and whammo. It is super easy, super clean up. Um, you know, eight biscuits total. Um, Jeff will take at least four people yeah. out on his trips. It's going to work great. It's going to fill, fill a bunch of... Steve Hoover thinking we are in the world's largest duck boat. Yep. So, yeah, we've been, we've been really happy with it, and we have a lot more recipes to try. I really need to try some of the low-carb, low-fat stuff. We can right. kind of figure some something out there, but... It is the ultimate outdoor oven, and we did use it on the companion grill the first night. Remember? Yes. Yeah, yep. we did the burgers first, and we was like, "Hey, man, let's 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 just see how the biscuits work out." So they worked out very well. Yeah, so, so easy, and um, yep, just has a little hot hot uh, hot handle slip cover, kind of keep you safe. You know, when no, you need no one can see that. First off, if they're listening, they can't see it, but definitely if they're watching yep. YouTube, they can't see it. And just slip it in in between and check them, but yeah, gosh, and it keeps it warm forever afterwards. Too. It does actually, it really does. Yeah. yeah. Because we like to come out here and sit right where we're sitting yep. and enjoy the biscuits from the duck blind district. Yeah, unfortunately, yes. you could quite easily eat more than your fair share just because they're still nice and warm. <sighs> oh, as I'm rubbing my belly, <laughs> I think I have been eating my, more than my fair share. It's good. What else would you like to say about the duck blind bistro? If anything, I'm not putting you on the spot because I'm going to... I just, just like the ease of it. It, it is it's very easy. Yep. Simple. Gosh, I mean, I haven't really done biscuits in um, in in years. I mean, it certainly prompted us to to give it a try again. But Gam, my mother, we call her Gam Gammy. She's currently not with us. She's going to be here very soon, very very soon. And getting her to do anything is difficult. But we have been taking her some biscuits, and she's enjoyed them. So, John, Paul, and Jay, guys, thank you very much for supporting the Pit Boss podcast. Newly revamped, mm -hmm. yes, yes, and this is a sponsor's highlight. They're going to go out every Wednesday. Okay, tomorrow's Wednesday, so I'm guessing that truly because our internet is horrible, it's not going to get up. Mm. Like last week, it was a Thursday, yeah. so I think this is probably going to be up not tomorrow, Wednesday, but up on Thursday. Oh, just so. need to hijack some Wi Fi, yeah, just got to find that. Well, I mean, we're, we have this uh, uh, uh fiber optic. As soon as they get it run, we're kind of basically. I, I like to think they put it in just for us. <laughs> They're super slow. So it's a very there. rural area. Hundred percent hasn't caught up yet. I will repeat myself when I say John Paul and Jay Duck Blind Bistro, DuckBlindBistro.com. Guys, thank you once again, truly for supporting. Sincerely, mm -hmm. I'll, I won't very be as goofy as I usually am. I'm always goofy though, aren't I? <laughs> he tries hard not to be. I can't. I'm dyslexic. Hey, you haven't look at this. You haven't said anything about in like four weeks that I put a new hat on. Yeah, you used to, because it still looks new. Yeah, but you haven't acknowledged that I put a new hat on because you you got on me. Yeah. You're tired of you riding me about <laughs> my that my old hat stunk. I did wash the old hat out. It's still on the actual dashboard of the yeah, truck. It hasn't recovered. No. I'll try this one more time. John, Paul, and Jay, guys, thank you very much for supporting the Pit Boss Podcast. As always. Thinking of you, we are. Ooh, that sounded wicked. Let me do it one more time. Boom.